to the capital city of Vietnam, Hanoi. It's a vibrant and a cultural city filled with historic landmarks and monuments that takes the city closer to its roots. Here we will be exploring the city, indulge in the Vietnamese cuisine, visit the famous train street and also explore the Ha Long Bay which is a natural wonder and discover the caves and beautiful waters on a junk boat. It's going to be an adventure for sure. So are you ready to explore Hanoi and Ha Long Bay? Let's go! Currently, I am at Hanoi, which is the capital city of Vietnam. I am now excited to see and explore the capital city. And tomorrow, we will be going to the Ha Long Bay, which would be the highlight of this trip. So, I am super excited for that as well. I came to Hanoi from the London city of Hoi An, took a short flight of one hour and landed here. Staying at this boutique hotel, Hong Long Dynasty, the room was nice and had a vintage touch to it which made it look elegant. The stay was very comfortable. First things first, we are here to have lunch. This place is very close by to a hotel that we are staying at and it's like walking distance, 5-10 minutes maximum. This restaurant has like vegetarian as well as non-vegetarian options as well. Here uh, we found out like there are many restaurants or like open restaurants which do not have chicken. They do have pork and beef but if you eat that you can have some. But of course I don't eat it so like it was very difficult for us to search a good restaurant around. But luckily we got here one and now the food is about to arrive. Uh, we are like super hungry like we just landed and we came out for having uh, lunch and it's almost 3.30 at the moment and uh, just waiting for the food to arrive. So we ordered something very different. This is the Vietnamese rice wine. It smells very strong and let's try it out. It tastes like whiskey more than like wine. So we just had food uh, at the restaurant met and it was amazing food that we got over here. It's very difficult to get food which is not bland here in Vietnam because we Indians like to eat spicy and flavorful food. But uh, they also gave us uh, chili sauce, chilies and different types of sauces and spices that you can add to your food to make it more spicy and flavorful. So this is what you have over here. Now the plan is to move further with the rest of the day and we're gonna cover a lake which is nearby as well and go walking to that place. And this is near the old quarters of and here there is a big uh, clock tower that you can go and visit which is a very ancient one plus there is one temple that is right in the middle of the lake which is where we are heading uh, at the moment so I am here and that's the temple that's over there so I have to walk through all this lane to go over here and it's a very ancient temple uh, so we are going to go and check it out but we talk about the view of everything it's very peace and calming there's a live music going on over there but there are a lot of locals and tourists over here just chilling and enjoying the time here in this beautiful city The Sun Temple, S O N Sun Temple here. This is located in between the lake, and it is a very ancient architecture. There's an entry ticket to come to this place, which is thirty thousand dongs uh, that you can use, and uh, no, thank you. Uh, that you can take, uh, and there's the dragon bridge, there's a pen tower, and a temple that you can go and visit inside. Whenever I see a cat, 
that I of course have to stop and there's this little cutie and this is I think in bobcat and this is the first time that I actually seeing a bobcat so bobcat have a very small tail unlike the usual cat their tail is this much only and this is I think a bobcat first time in my life and he or she is like very chill and very nice I'm just gonna sit here now <laughs> What a very silly and an unnecessary purchase from a local vendor over here. यहाँ पे बहुत सारे ऐसे cute cute चीज़ें मिलती हैं ऐसा लगता है कि खरीद लो पर कोई काम का नहीं है बहुत दिस क्यूट लिटल डक ओवर हियर सो अदर दैन दैट वी केम आउटसाइड फ्राम द थन टेम्पल एरिया एंड ऑपोजिट टू दैट इज अ मार्केट एरिया दैट इज स्ट्रीट शॉपिंग सॉर्ट ऑफ अ मार्केट विच इज़ अ लॉट ऑफ स्ट्रीट वेंडर्स सेलिंग फूड एज वेल एंड सम स्ट्रीट शॉप्स एज वेल दैट यू कैन चेक इट आउट दैट्स राइट ओवर दे समेर famous a year in hanoi that you can experience and there's a puppet show that happens on the water it's a very nice cultural experience that you can have over here but there's a very large queue for that and we don't have that much time to stand in the queue normal coffee and they have two options in that as well the cold and hot the other speciality over here is the rum coffee which is also what you can try cold and hot this is a very famous place so you'll always find it busy because it's one of the top recommended places here in hanoi for egg coffee Iconic train street of Hanoi. There's the 7 p.m. train that goes by from this location. There are these cafes from where you can sit. Not all of the tourists are allowed. You can ask some locals for the directions to come to this spot. Other than that, you can enjoy a chill beer or drink something or eat something while that happens from these colorful cafes right over here. a mall yes i was curious to check out what kind of stores and varieties are in vietnam's mall and got to know the brands and products are pretty much similar to what we have in india after the mall visit it was time for dinner which we had at four piece pizza the pizza was served with seaweed a rather interesting pizza topping but was really nice and with that ended the day at hoi an city Today and today we 
are going to Halong Bay which is one of the natural wonders of the world and the day started early in the morning by having breakfast at the in-house restaurant in the hotel and now we stopped at a location on the way to Halong Bay to, to do a world tour. From our hotel Halong Bay is around two and a half hours so hence the spot for like using restroom. So now we are going to go and have the tour of the oyster making process and see how it is. So let's go and do that and later from here we will continue our journey back on the road to Halong Bay. oyster we open it cut off the muscle on the lip of the oyster we remove the outside theme keep the middle part and divide it into small pieces finally we treat them by the vaccine antibacteria like she's doing here after treat the vaccine we can get the red pieces we call them are the mantle tissue this one is very very important now She's opening the oyster just a little bit, about one or two centimeters to keep it alive. Very carefully cut the small line inside the reproductive organ. And then she insert one mantle tissue. After that is one white core. This technique is like IVF for oyster. The red piece here with the vaccination, it keep the oyster can stay alive. And it also like the catalyst to stimulate the oyster to produce. The first one Aquaria, these are the smallest. They take about four months for the small size, one year for the medium size and two years for the big size like this one. Two years for this size. The second one Tahitian. Tahiti is the most colorful bird in the world because beside the black is the main color. We can get different luster and it takes about two to four years for one pearl. The last one South Sea. This is the most expensive one in the world. It takes about three to five years for one pearl. In 100 oyster after harvesting, till 30 oyster can be pearl. So you can see it's not 100% so separate to 30%. Now she went take the pearl out. After take, after take it, taking it. We check the quality. What do you think about this one? Is good or not? Good. 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 We witnessed the whole pearl making process and it was something. Inject the oyster with something that makes the pearl rounder. Plus, uh, after like four to five years, the best quality of pearl is been created. And not always the best quality is created. Sometimes it's blackish, sometimes it's a little dull. And the best quality ones are of course the most expensive ones. And it's an interesting process for sure, but like I don't think I would ever like want to buy a real pearl after seeing this. Halong Bay Roos Port. Uh, so that's what you see behind me. It's a beautiful port and now we're walking towards our junk port. Now there you can also stay in those boats uh, for one night, two night and the package includes all the meals and everything, activities, ticket cost and everything for the caves and everything. But we on the other hand are just only for the day cruise uh, in which we will be going to visit some caves, we, we can go swimming and also there is lunch included in it. So I'm going to take you along, super excited to see one of the natural wonder of the world here in Vietnam, the Halong Bay. top of the boat and here you can see and enjoy the view just chill by the waters and just soak in the beauty of this magical place out here and this is a top deck area there's one that's beneath it where we had our lunch so the lunch and everything is included uh, in these packages that you offer but the food wasn't that good that was the experience with us but you can come here and like take photos and chill and it's a bit harsh sunlight at the moment but hopefully it gets like a bit nicer and today the day is also looking so nice I pack my bags and now I'm gone Somewhere Between the sun and the deep I'm blue sea Tend and red Flat out on a beach bed That's where you find me Then it was
us time to experience and explore the famous cave of Halong Bay. This is one of the oldest and also one of the largest one and hence was super crowded but somehow made it inside. So we are now taking a tour of one of the caves over here and it's a very interesting cave but there are a lot of people over here and it's super jam packed but uh, since this is the season time but it's a very interesting cave. So this cave was discovered by the French and also this cave was used as a bunker during the Vietnamese war but now it's been converted into a tourist attraction and it is one of the biggest cave over here and has so many different structure and character to it. It's so interesting to find. And it is all natural formations. As you can see, it is like so, so, so pretty. And this is something that the jungle get you to explore so that you can see and witness this natural beauty of it. After the cave adventure, hop back to the boat and later went out for kayaking which was super fun. Okay, so now we are doing kayaking. Oh, I have Yukta with me. Hey. So we are kayaking and going through this cave and it is super fun. A bit tiring and some hard work is required but it's super fun. And so let's continue and I'll show you the beautiful uh, Halong Bay while we kayak. Passing through the cave cutouts and being surrounded by these majestic hills and clear water was a surreal experience. The ride back to the land was also very beautiful, with the sun setting on one side and the Halong Bay Hills on the other. It was a very special moment and a scene that has been captured in my heart forever. After coming back from the junk boat ride, freshened up in a room and had some rest and had the famous pho and banh mi for dinner one last time before waving bye to the city and ending this epic adventure of Vietnam. Alrighty guys, so this brings us to the end of my trip to Vietnam. Vietnam is such a vibrant country and there are so many places more to cover and I'm sure I'll be back someday to cover and explore them as well. I really enjoyed my trip here in Vietnam, got to see so many places that I've always seen people visit on Instagram and finally me being there experiencing those things was magical and a wonderful experience. Never had I ever thought that I would be on an international trip all by myself, meeting new people, experiencing new culture, food and everything and I'm so 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 grateful for it and this motivates me to work even harder so that I can travel uh, to more such places and show you guys as well and bring more cultures and communities to my YouTube channel to share it with the world. Do check out the other videos from my Vietnam trip, all will be linked down below. They are informative, they tell you about the itinerary, the places to visit and everything so that it helps you planning your trip to Vietnam as well. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, make sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. This is me Krishma signing off until I meet you again in a new place in a new city. Bye bye!